Welcome back everyone. I thought I would just have a little fun today and try creating a colourful double exposure composite image of this sea turtle swimming underwater. This video was shot in pretty much real time with very few edits and took under six minutes from start to finish. I started with these three images I generated from Leonardo AI. First, I asked for a sea turtle swimming underwater from left to right. Then, I made this cool cross-section seascape. And then, finally, I created this colourful school of fish swimming in coral. I'll begin by isolating this beautiful sea turtle from its watery background. To do this, I'll grab my trusty selection brush tool from the left-hand toolbar and paint over my reptilian friend here. I'm using a fairly small brush head here, but to get the edges in, I'll zoom in a bit. I'll click the left square bracket key a few times to make my brush head smaller and then hold Option or Alt to erase this section I selected by mistake. Then I'll go around the edges a bit to get in as much as possible. All right, now I'm going to click on the Refine button at the top. This will bring up the reddish preview background indicating what is outside of my selection. There is some red tint to the sea turtle, so I'm going to switch the overlay to black and white. This gives me a really clear idea as to what I may have missed. I'll switch my adjustment brush to foreground and paint over these spots I missed. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll switch the background preview back to overlay and take one last look. I think it looks great. So I'll select the output to a new layer and click apply. Excellent. Now I'm going to click Command or Control plus J to duplicate my turtle. Then I'll go over to the image of all these pretty fish and I'll select copy from the menu and then switch back to my turtle image and go to file paste to paste the fish onto a new layer. Then I'll drag the fish layer onto the top turtle layer to embed the fish onto the turtle shape. All right, now I'll select the top turtle layer and then I'll click on the layer mask button at the bottom of the layers panel. This will add mask to the layer. Next, with the mask layer selected, I'll click on the gradient tool on the left hand toolbar and drag across the turtle from left to right. This puts a white to black gradient across the mask, keeping the left side opaque while making the right side transparent so you can see the turtle below. You can use the little slider in the middle of the gradient tool to adjust the strength of the gradient. Now, to blend this in a little better, I'll go to the brushes panel and select the masking category and then I'll pick one of the textured mask brushes. I'll make sure my paintbrush tool is selected in the left hand toolbar and I'll start painting over the mask. Painting with a white color will reveal more of the top layer, or in this case, the school of fish. Painting with the black colour will take away the top layer and reveal the turtle layer below. I think I want more turtle, so I'll choose black and paint over where I want the turtle to appear. All right. Now, once I have the turtle the way I want it, I'll select both of the visible layers while holding the shift key and then right click on them and scroll down to group. Then I'll right click on them again and scroll down to rasterize to put this into a single pixel layer. Now with the new pixel layer selected, I'll right click one more time and select copy to copy my fishy turtle. Then I'll switch over to my underwater seascape image and go to file and then paste to paste the turtle into a new layer. Next, I'll use the arrow shaped move tool in the left hand toolbar. I'll drag the corner nodes to make my turtle smaller and then I'll grab and hold on to the turtle to move it into place. About there looks right. Okay, now I wanna put a little glow around my little scaled buddy here. To do this, I'll first go to select in the menu and then scroll down to select from layer. You can see the little marching ant selection dots around my turtle. Next, I'll go to the Shapes tool drop-down and select the Rectangle tool. I'll draw a white rectangle shape over the selection. 
Then, I'll select the new rectangle layer, right-click on it and scroll down to Rasterize to make this a pixel layer. Now, I can click on Command or Control X to cut the turtle shape out of the rectangle and then Command or Control V to paste the shape into a new layer. At this point, I can click on the layer that had the rectangle on it and select Delete to get rid of it. Cool. The next thing I'm going to do is select the cutout layer and drag and drop it below my fish turtle layer. I'll then click Command or Control D to deselect. Then I'll go to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Gaussian Blur. I'll raise the slider half the way up. This makes that nice glow appearing around the edges that I wanted. Alright, one more thing, and then I'll let you go. I want to give this guy a little more depth. So, I'll select the turtle and then click on the FX button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Then, I'll select 3D, check the box and raise up the slider just a bit. This adds some nice shadows and highlights around the edges. I think that looks pretty nice for less than six minutes work. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.